The latest state emergency management agency, LASEM, has given an update on the collapsed six-story building in Banana Island. LASEM explained that the collapse was as a result of a truck that ran into the building. The permanent secretary of the agency, Femi Okeo Osointolo, confirmed that no life was lost in the incident, but recovery operations are still ongoing. The agency assured that efforts are ongoing to avoid a secondary incident on the collapse site. We're moving swiftly, promptly, effectively, and efficiently with all the primary stakeholders. And you can see that immediately it occurred, our response was swift. It's about 10 minutes. And you can see that, come and look at it. Come and look at the specialized equipment we used. And we got there, our response time was 10 minutes. We moved in with our sophisticated equipment. We used Delta. The life side was divided into four quadrants. Now, and we checked each of the quadrants with our Delta. And we did not, we did not locate anybody under the debris with our Delta. However, because we are professionals and meticulous about what we are doing, we are using a hammer and excavator with cranes together. We started moving from one layer to another. And during this um, emergency response, we are able to rescue <coughs> several people alive. Those people that were rescued were treated on the spot and discharged. It's only one that was taken to a private hospital where he's receiving adequate treatment. Yes. And if, if, and if you can see that at the outer quadrant, we've already reached what we call Grand Zero. We are moving to the second, third, fourth quadrant. And believe me, we will get to Grand Zero in each of these um, quadrant to ensure transparency, to ensure that nobody is left in there, to ensure that the job is being done professionally. Um, and concerning the other buildings. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.